against uh, possible foreign aggression. The uh, missiles that have been tested in today's maneuvers are the Zelzal, the Shahab-1 and Shahab-2, which have been test-fired in day two of the Great Prophet 6 uh, uh, maneuvers. Uh, Iran yesterday had uh, unveiled uh, an array of underground missile silos in the first phase of the missile maneuver named, codenamed Great Prophet 6. Uh, a spokesman for the drills uh, said the missile silos have been indigenously constructed. He also said all missile launch procedures from the silos will be carried out using technologically advanced remote control systems. That's what took place on day one of the maneuvers. Today, day two of the Great Prophet 6 defensive military drills. We're seeing uh, live, well, not live footage, but footage that uh, we've just obtained here on Press TV for you, where the Zelzal missile uh, is being test fired. Also today on day two, the Shahab 1 and Shahab 2 missiles were also test fired. A commander of the aerospace division of the IRGC, Brigadier General Amir Ali Haji Zadeh, mentioned on uh, Sunday, that's a day before the uh, military drills started, that uh, these uh, drills are uh, made, uh, well, basically they're showcasing Iran's uh, uh, indigenously uh, a developed uh, military defensive capabilities and these drills are meant to appraise the preparedness and readiness of the IRGC units to practice new tactics to place newly guaranteed cadets by the side of veteran ones and also to bring different range of ballistic missiles into play as we see we're seeing the test firing of the Zelzal that's uh, uh, what we read according to our website uh, Brigadier General Ami Ali Hajizada also added that uh, various short, medium, and long-range missiles will be fired during these uh, uh, defensive maneuvers. Uh, also, as we mentioned yesterday, domestically built silos, uh, which are underground vertical cylindrical containers. For those of you who don't know what silos are, they, they, they store, uh, they facilitate the storage and launching of ballistic missiles at some point in the military exercise, which we yesterday uh, unveiled. Uh, the first day of the uh, Great Prophet 6 military maneuvers, these uh, ballistic missile silos were unveiled. Today, uh, code name, uh, the military drills, code name Great Prophet 6, uh, uh, is test firing a missile maneuver, launching a missile maneuver to assess and upgrade the readiness of its armed forces. Uh, as we mentioned, uh, we are seeing footage of the Zelzal missile being test fired. Also on day two of the drills, the Shahab 1 and Shahab 2 missiles uh, have also been test fired. A spokesman uh, with, the, uh, with the drills uh, mentioned that the missile launch procedures uh, yesterday uh, that were carried out by the silos were using technologically advanced remote control systems. Uh, he also added that the uh, Great Prophet 6 drills, uh, well, a spokesman for the Great Prophet 6 drills added that the silos are part of the rapid response units of the missile forces of Iran. And also, uh, giving other details about the maneuvers, he said that the missiles are kept on standby and are ready for launch at predetermined targets. We are seeing uh, recently obtained footage of the Zelzal missile being test fired. Well, the official mentioned that uh, with regards to what's, what's been taking place, specifically with yesterday, the silos are part of a swift reaction unit of the IRGC. Uh, in charge of the uh, drills was General Asghar Qalich Khani. He is an IRGC spokesman also. Uh, he said that the country has been using domestically built missile silos for well over a decade now. Uh, adding that the newer generation silos, uh, which, we are which we saw yesterday, basically, which we uh, announced yesterday, are operational from a launch control center uh, located far from the launch pads, uh, which, uh, once again, uh, as we mentioned, they use technologically advanced remote control systems, which is a major step forward for the domestically uh, uh, built uh, defense capabilities of the Islamic Republic of Iran. The main advantage of the silos uh, that were tested yesterday is uh, the reduced launch time as those weapons need to be moved or aligned uh, prior to launch. An IRGC official stressed that the Great Prophet 6 maneuver 
has totally defensive objectives and will be staged with a message of peace and friendship. Uh, now, if you know, the uh, IRGC, uh, IRGC's Naval Air and Ground Forces staged the Great Prophet 5 military drill in the Persian Gulf region in uh, April 2010. Well, the state television uh, report broadcast footage of underground... Well, uh, that being us, excuse me, we did broadcast footage of uh, underground launching pads for the Shaab 3 missile, which have a range of more than uh, 1,200 miles. Now we are seeing a live, uh, well, recently obtained uh, footage of the Zelzal missile, which, is, uh, which was test-fired earlier in the day. I believe 14 missiles were uh, test-fired on day two of the Great Prophet 6 maneuvers, though, those being the Zelzal, the Shahab 1, and the Shahab 2. Well, that was the latest footage we had of the uh, codename Great Prophet 6 military defensive drills uh, that have kick-started uh, in Iran. Today was actually day two. We'll have more of those drills uh, uh, and uh, other footage as we get it for you right here on Press TV. But my good colleague, Amir Hossein, joins me in the studio now for the World News. Welcome, everybody. This is the 8.30 edition. We're coming to you live from the Capitol. And on to your top story. Iran has launched the second phase of its missile maneuvers, dubbed the Great Prophet 6. Fourteen projectiles, including Shahab-1 and Shahab-2, as well as the Zelzal missiles, were launched on Tuesday. Now, in the first phase of the drills, Iran unveiled its array of indigenously built underground missile silos. The spokesman for the Great Prophet Six drills said the silos are part of the rapid response units of Iran's missile forces. He further said the missiles are kept on standby and are ready for launch at predetermined targets. In other news, in Greece, people are set.